Hi guys, Dave Feldman here again, and uh, I'm actually about a day into an experiment. I originally intended to start this video before I started the experiment to announce it, uh, but I had to make a kind of adjustment, and I'll explain why in a moment. So effectively, I've never been able to do an additive experiment, and I think this may be the last big one that I do before my talk at Low Carb Rec. Basically, any time I played with energy status, as was predominant through my phase two of my research, uh, I did swapping. So for example, I'd be on a high fat diet and then keeping at it about the same calories, I would drop out the fat and replace it with calories from carbohydrates. In almost all cases, it would be grains, but in some cases I did it with bananas um, over the summer. Well, this time around, I kind of wanted to make it a little more buzzworthy. So instead of doing something that's typically related back to being healthy, bananas and grains both being healthy, I was going to do it with something like candy or desserts. And so for this experiment, I was thinking I would do it with chocolate chip cookies. So I was going to do five days of a keto shake, keeping it exactly even, morning, noon, and night, and then do three days of an intervention period, but instead of swapping out the fat for carbs. It would be strictly additive, which is to say I would keep the same amount of calories from the shake. It would be the same amount of the shake through those three days, but I'd then be adding in the carbohydrates, and in this case in the form of sugar. Right. And then finally I would have a five-day aftermath period, so we could actually see what happens in that last stage. So if we were to break this out into stages, the first stage being the washout period, stage one, the second stage being the intervention period, and the third stage being the aftermath. My hypothesis was that the lipid panels that I would get for stage one would be higher than what they would be for stage three. That the intervention period, even though I actually added sugar, would bring up my energy status and therefore result in lowered LDL cholesterol for stage three. However, I ran into a problem. Over the course of today, I actually realized that this was this had a problem, which is that if I did do chocolate chip cookies, they do in fact have some amount of dietary fat. Because they do, and because the stage one of my research, uh, phase one of my research has to do with um, the inversion pattern, it could be possible that the dietary fat was the reason that my cholesterol could come down in stage three of this experiment. Therefore, I needed to have some form of sugar that had no dietary fat. So, I decided I might go with candy. But there's a problem with candy with me in particular. Uh, I have um, fructose malabsorption, which I discovered that I had long before I'd gone on a ketogenic diet. Fructose malabsorption means, of course, you experience gut pains and so forth when you have a large amount of fructose, especially high fructose corn syrup. Um, so I thought maybe I could do sucrose in the form of table sugar, but of course that too is still fructose, but maybe not as bad as high fructose corn syrup. However, sugar water I don't think would be quite as buzzworthy as if I actually did something that's like kind of a commercial level candy. So to change up, pretty straightforward. I will be um, still doing the keto shake all day tomorrow and the day after, but following that on Tuesday, I'll be having candy all day, and right now I'm thinking it'll probably end up being Skittles. Uh, if I make it to the end of the day, I don't feel nausea, I don't feel uh, extraordinarily debilitating gut pain uh, from the fructose malabsorption, then I'll try to truck it through for the next two days, and then I'll actually be able to start the washout period, and we'll get to see if, in fact, my LDL cholesterol gets lower. Uh, this is somewhat exciting to me because uh, virtually all the experiments that I've done before have kind of built on something else that I've seen hints of. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing a, a truly additive experiment, and I don't have any predictions for the intervention phase as to what will happen to my lipids. Uh, and even with the hypothesis that I have for the last stage, um, I know that there can be also other possible things that could impact it in the other direction. For example, I may bring about more de novo lipogenesis because I have a lot of overage of the total amount of sugar uh, relative to my maintenance level with fat. 
So it's hard to say for sure, uh, but that's all the reason more why it could be that much more exciting. So with that said, um, wish me luck because unfortunately, if Tuesday doesn't go very well, I'm gonna have to cancel the experiment because if I get especially sick, then obviously the, uh, the data won't be as valuable. Thank you for watching. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, but more than anything else, thank these people because without their individual donations, I couldn't be doing this.